What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about the Smith & Wesson Shield EZ-9. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about the Smith & Wesson Shield EZ-9. Now first thing, let's start off by making sure the gun is clear. Go ahead and take the magazine out. Now I'm going to start with the magazine. You get two eight round magazines. All right, and the thing about these magazines is you have these little notches on each side. Let me hold it out a little closer right here on each side of the magazine. Hence, for the name of the EZ-9, or they also have an EZ-380 if you would like it in 380. Uh, but this here is the nine millimeter. But what these notches are for is, as you can see, to help you pull down as you're loading the magazine. So you essentially have a speed loader built into these magazines where with one of their other MMP versions, you're probably going to need a speed loader or have to push and load by hand. This is going to give you a little extra leverage when you're loading your magazine. So again, you get two of these and both of them do come with the notches on the sides here. So again, for easy loading, hence the name easy yet again. And you're probably going to hear that a lot throughout this video because this gun was designed for people that struggle with full-size guns even compact guns that have a pretty heavy spring in them and it makes it hard for some people to be able to rack around into that chamber so smith and wesson designed ez9 ez380 because not only is it going to be easy to load the mags the manipulations of the gun are easy to use just like being able to sit and rack the gun so it's a lot easier than what another version of the MP will be so it's very easy to rack this gun I mean it is it's stupid easy to be able to rack this gun. Then you run some rounds through it, it's just gonna make that a little bit easier, but it is very easy to sit and rack this gun. Where, let's say if you look at the original M&P that came out, it took a lot to rack that thing, and then you had to run several hundred rounds through it before it really broke in and made it a lot easier to use. But this is very easy to use very easy to load the mags with the support you have on the side. Now, if you look at this, it looks like any other M&P version that Smith & Wesson releases. The differences here are being this is easier to use. It's also tends to lean a little bit more toward newer shooters, okay? Because you have a couple extra safeties on here that you're not gonna find on an M&P or a Shield or a Shield M&P Plus. Okay, if you notice back here on the back, there is a grip safety. Then you also have a thumb safety. Okay, so we'll flip it around and you see that thumb safety is ambidextrous on the right 
and the left hand side. All right, or one old coach used to say amphibious. <laughs> so the safety is ambidextrous. It's there on both each side, and you've got the grip safety. It's a really fun gun to shoot. The trigger is really light, really crisp. Um, it doesn't. Only thing it said on Smith and Wesson's website was it's not a ten-pound trigger. Uh, I looked through and I could have missed it. I didn't find anything that said uh, how many pounds the trigger is. Uh, so I went and tested that myself and I came out to about five and a half pounds. So if you want to run it on yours, you might get a different answer. I'm sure somebody's going to correct me in the comments, which is just fine. The other extra safety that this thing has on here is what's called a load indicator or as Smith & Wesson calls it, a tactile load chamber indicator. So if you look right up here at the top of the gun, okay, I'll hold it a little closer to the camera there, but right up here, all right, top of the gun, top of the slide, whatever you wanna say. All right, this, what will happen when there's a round in the chamber is this little lever will pop up. Okay, so as you can see, it's flat, smooth, there's nothing in it, even if I were to send it forward, flat smooth all right showing that there's nothing in the chamber again when there's a round in the chamber that'll pop up just a little bit it's not going to pop way up where it's obstructing you being able to aim the gun it'll pop up enough to where you can see it or run your fingers across it and know that there's a round in the chamber so this is again novice shooters experienced shooters hey if this is something you want just because it's easy to manipulate go and get it but overall it is designed for newer shooters just with a lot of the safety features that are on here. I will say, all right, Smith & Wesson, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. You Smith & Wesson fans out there, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. Just giving my honest opinion on this thing just because of what I've seen with people that come in with this gun with newer shooters. This is not something I am a fan of, this grip safety. Not because I don't want the gun to be safe. You can still be safe without having all this stuff on here if you follow the safety rules. But from what I've seen is a lot of your newer shooters don't understand that good grip when we're trying when we're talking about it and we're going over it. So I've seen a lot of people not have NDs. I haven't seen any NDs with this, but when we're shooting they're trying to get their grip as they're squeezing their trigger and sometimes that trigger will not engage because the grip safety is not engaged so now that's a plus and a minus all right i gave you the minus part of it the plus part of that is it will teach you to make sure you're getting a good grip because if you don't have a good grip on this gun this safety will not engage so please practice and get used to making sure you've got a good grip, oil a good firm grip. Don't go so crazy that you're starting to shake because you're squeezing so tight. We're not choking the life out of it. I shouldn't see the whites of your knuckles. But you want a good firm grip to make sure this grip safety is engaged. So there is a plus to it. There's also a minus to it. Just because of what newer shooters tend to do that's why i'm not a big fan of it because again they haven't been nds but it's hard getting them to understand to get that so they're trying to grip i'm talking them through it and then it just, the gun kind of goes off and kind of spooks them a little bit we've got to talk about it so please make sure you get a good grip if you're looking at this gun please don't let that be a deciding factor on why you don't get this gun Okay, that's just me and my opinion of the gun. Like I said, it's a plus and a minus. There is a heavy plus that it teaches you to get a good, firm grip. That way, if you ever do have to pick up another gun to defend yourself, that grip will stay the same from one gun to another to another to another. So, please, don't let that be a deciding factor. I'm not trying to degrade this gun to where you don't go and buy it. I just want you to understand 
what this grip safety is going to do. It's going to make you get a good grip. If you don't, it will not engage, the gun will not fire. So please understand that. You've got some really, really good sights here. You've got your takedown lever here on the side, all right? The serrations are really good. The stippling on the handle is really good. It's not overly aggressive. It gives you a good bite in your hands where it's not gonna like rub blisters or anything crazy like that. So overall, I like the gun. It's a fun gun to shoot. Uh, that was a big reason for getting this gun was really for my mother who struggled racking an M&P shield and even some of the other guns out there. This was a lot easier for her to manipulate. So newer shooters or if you have nerve issues, hand strength issues, anything crazy like that, arthritis, where you can't really get a good grip to rack a normal handgun, this is the one for you. Uh, weight is, I think, 23, 23.8 ounce, like almost 24 ounces. I think that's like a pound and a half with the weight. Now that's without the magazine, so you're gonna put a few more ounces in there um, when you add in a loaded magazine. You've got your Picatinny rail, so if you wanna put a flashlight all right, or anything like that. If you want to put a laser, that's up to you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you don't need to do to your gun. You do what feels good to you, what you're comfortable with, but I'll go ahead and tell you, lasers don't help you. They're not going to make you a better shooter. All right, learning the fundamentals, getting some training is what will make you a better shooter, but this it's a really, really good gun for, again, entry-level hand strength issues, arm strength issues, rack and things like that. You will not be disappointed with this gun. I mean, it's Smith & Wesson. They put out a good product. Again, the biggest thing is just your plus and minuses. With the grip safety knee, it's a little bit more on the minus. Uh, I would much rather work with somebody on that, but Again, know that going into this gun that you're gonna have to make sure you've got that grip. Get that grip before you squeeze that trigger. Don't get that grip as you're squeezing that trigger because that still might not engage in time. But I'll have a link so you can go in and read more of the specs down in the description below. If this is, uh, th the other thing that I forgot is they also have this listed in your micro compact category. I still think it's pretty much all subcompacts, but kind of have a new category with your Hellcat 365, stuff like that, and they call it micro compact. So small gun, easy to conceal, all right? Yes, you're getting eight rounds, you get two eight round mags. So I'm, I'm kind of about round count. So I like a bigger round count, that's just me. If you're starting out, here's a very good gun for you. Price point I think is, $4.99 somewhere in there so about average price for a good self-defense gun concealed carry gun home defense gun protect your ass gun whatever you need it to do okay so again I'll have the link down in the, the description uh, please continue to like share subscribe comment help get the word out click that little bell icon so you get notified when we put up some more great videos because We've got other great videos coming out. Plus, we have the replay of our the radio show as well, too. So, again, thank you all. Hope you enjoyed it. Please continue to support and send the love. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. All right, all my sponsors, thank you very much. Affiliates, all of you have tremendously helped me out to get me where I am. So, please keep it going. I cannot thank you all enough. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.